Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss how we validate the JSON schema using the Postman. So we have one API here, and uh, this is the example of API, and we have one create a user API. Okay, so we can first create a test in the Postman. So let me do that. So this is the endpoint URL. And in Postman, we can add one request. This is the post request. Okay. And then here, if I go, you can see this is the JSON request detail. Paste here in the request body section and now if I send the request we will see the response JSON response data now we will, we will validate how we uh, verify the JSON schema in the postman so for verification as we discussed in the previous tutorial we need to add the code under the test editor so first of all let's capture the response details so we have response pm.response.json method using that we can capture the uh, response this is response data if i want to log this we can use the console.log methods and then we can check the response under the console you can see in the console log we can see it means we are able to capture the response data in the response data variable now if i want to verify the json schema so first we need to define the json schema so let's create one json schema for this variable for this response so json schema so first this response is type equal to object so we need to define a type object then we need to define the properties okay so we have one variable so this is the first property and this is the name so we can define here name this is also curly bracket so here we need to define the uh, name properties like this is the its type equal to a string okay because we are getting response as a string so i define here name properties as a string okay so if i want to verify the json schema then we have code we can create here test pm dot test let me give the method name json schema validation and function closing the breaker here we need to call the pm dot expect method and then we have tv4 dot there is a tv4 object we can call this and we have json schema methods we have validate method
and we can pass here the JSON schema. And then response data. First argument, response data, then JSON schema. And then we have called, we need to call here dot two dot v dot true. Okay, send the request now. JSON schema is passed. If I pass this, like suppose that integer, this is the uh, integer. So in that case, let's see what will happen. We are getting failure. So assertion expected false but fails. Why we this is a because in the response we are getting the string and we have defined here the schema uh, as integer. Similar type we can create the details schema for the other properties for job. This is a integer type ID. This is jo job is also a string type ID is also a string type and we have created date. This is also a string. Why this is string? Because this is a double quotes. So And now let's run past. Okay, if any properties we I change here, then we will get failure because all expected is uh, a string format. Now, how we validate the uh, mandatory fields? How we make sure our mandatory fields also verified in the JSON schema? So we have required option here in schema and add the details which details we want to mandatory like this is the name this is mandatory second suppose that we are expecting a job mandatory id mandatory okay suppose that we have one more value which we are expect, expecting id1 validate so in that case because there is no id1 in the uh, response so it will mark the fail you can see the failure but if i remove this and run now it will verify in the response these three uh, fields are mandatory if any other fields properties are available that is mark optional so now this is one syntax code we can use to verify we have some more methods okay using that we can also validate the json schema so validation schema one direct method so in that case we can call here the pm dot response Or we can use the JSON data now this is the response data dot to dot have dot JSON schema and then we can pass here the JSON schema value Okay, so this will also validate the JSON schema. Okay, we need to call the PM dot response. Working. Okay, so in this way you can validate the JSON schema using the postman okay and hope this will be helpful for you in your project and please do subscribe the channel and like the video share this video to uh, your friends colleague okay thanks for watching the video